Don't mind my hair. I have my hoodie on. My shit all over the place. Big Jeff funeral is going down. A lot of people think that no funeral homes want to do the funeral services or whatnot. That's not the case. Who's going to turn down such a big contract? Think about it. You need the space. You need security. Ain't nobody turning that contract down. They just trying to find the right place. Think about you it. You're going to turn down your guy coming to the services or whatnot. There's a bag to be made just on our funeral alone. So no, it's not that funerals don't want to do it because they're scared that it's going to get shot up. Nobody's going to be that stupid to try to shoot no funeral up. After Big Jerk was killed coming from the funeral slash repass, ain't nobody going to be that stupid. They are going to be deep. They are going to have crazy security in there. You know they're going to have snipers in the building. They're going to have police out there, gang task force. That's just what's going to come with it. Trust me when I tell you. Remember what happened when Jada Youngman died? They had snipers in the roof. They had mass security because there was a threat, right? They thought that somebody might try to shoot the place up or whatnot. So that's what's going on with the big drug situation, man. It's not that no funeral services want to be able to take the contract and they don't want to deal with it because they're scared. That's not the case. You know what I mean? You got to remember, it's not just on the family and the funeral place itself to do the services. You have to include the police. The mayor's got to be included in this. This has got to be planned out. You know what I mean? It's got to be private. You got to have all that stuff put together. They're not just going to allow the family to choose a place and go and do it. You know what I mean? After what happened. It's a threat. It's a high security situation. The police is going to be involved. You know what I mean? So whoever gets that contract is going to get a nice little bag just off the services alone, right? But you know Yo Gotti and them, they're going to pay whatever they need to pay to make sure that his brother's laid to rest the right way, right? It's crazy, man. I had people asking me about the Yo Gotti text message. Do you think that he was sacrificed or whatnot? I mean, to be honest, I think what Money Bag is trying to say is that they feel like he got a snake, you know what I mean? But it don't necessarily mean that somebody dropped the location because everybody knew where they were going to be. So this is not a situation where he was back door and somebody dropped it low. Everybody knew where he was going to be. Everybody knew about the repass, the funeral. It was, it was public information, you know what I mean? So that's not the case. Now, does he feel like maybe a friend, you know what I'm saying, encouraged him to come? There's a few things that I'm hearing within the circle that is that that, that snake situation is coming from something like that right something where you got a friend maybe you know yo yo you going to the funeral yo make sure you come we're gonna be up there da, da, da. you know what i'm saying like maybe yuck didn't want to go and he was encouraged by somebody to go a close friend or whatnot you gotta remember every time there's a death families is always gonna point the finger at somebody they're always looking for somebody to blame and i think money bag yo it was strange because he never says anything about anything that has to do with you know any beef or motherfucking yo Gotti or none of that he never does so it's funny how people were questioning how come he hasn't said anything next thing you know he drops messages with him and yook and it's more like he was just giving him some advice you know like yo move like this don't move like this don't trust you know even people close to you or whatnot that's what it sounds like to me more like you know people's using it like oh look he was sacrificed he knew he was gonna be sacrificed man not every death is a sacrifice man you know this dude's is deep in the streets and that's just what comes with the streets. I think Juk was just giving money back, you some advice, you know, like, I'm an OG, I know how the game go, you know what I mean? Don't trust nobody, blah, blah, blah. And that's all I think that was, man. So dudes just be doing a whole, dudes just be doing a whole lot, man. So people just be doing a whole lot, man, you know what I mean? That's just what I think happened with that. Y'all know how we coming, dude. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, comment, like the fucking video man show your boy some love like what the fuck <laughs> make sure y'all do like the video though i'm playing with a little bit of truth to it you know what i mean y'all know how we coming though man bullshit you to the shit. get it